we are all so unique. Like every single human being on this planet is completely unique. And we all have very unique strengths, very unique gifts, very unique talents. Every single one of us completely different. Like if you look at every person, there's no two people that look the same even, just on a physical level, even identical twins. Nobody looks the same. This is, this is how we are. Everybody, no two people the same. Everyone so powerful. And when we really recognize our power is when we stop trying, spending our life trying to be like other people. So really getting solid, really getting familiar with who we are. Who we are, me as I am, not trying to be like anybody else. I know that's something that I, I really used to try and do. I used to see powerful people, see people who looked like they had a lot of friends, people who looked really happy, people who looked like they had a really good job, really good lifestyle, and so I wanted to be like them. Maybe if I study this degree, then I'll be powerful and I'll be able to create this lifestyle for myself. Maybe if I have more money, maybe if I become friends with that group of people, then, then I'll be able to be powerful. But I experience so much thoughts and emotions and sensations that I don't like. So I need to get rid of them in order for those people to like me. In, and then in order for me to become powerful. It's so confusing. It's such a waste of our life to live like this. We are powerful with who we are, with all of the thoughts that we have, with all the emotions that we have, with all of the sensations that we have. And in Balanced View, we just call thoughts, emotions, sensations, data. Just to keep things really simple. And we start to become familiar and comfortable with every single data stream that we experience. And this is how we unlock our power. We stop trying to change ourselves. This is the secret key to unlock our power, to really recognize our uniqueness that isn't like anybody else. So when we experience these thoughts, emotions and sensations, we can let them be exactly as they are. Exactly as they are, and stopping to reify them. Reification means we give them a meaning. It means we either indulge them, like I feel angry, so I'm going to you know, indulge the anger, get really, really angry and start to yell and scream at somebody. I'm going to avoid it, like say, oh no, I'm not angry, I'm not angry. Or I'm going to replace it by thinking like, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. This is what reification means. We give the, the data stream a meaning. But what we're introduced to when we come to a meeting like this is we're introduced to open intelligence. And when we let our data streams be exactly as they are, we recognize open intelligence. We take a short moment of open intelligence. And we see that all of our data streams are completely inseparable from open intelligence. So I just introduce you to open intelligence now because it's very simple, it's nothing complicated. It's the basis of who you are. It's the essence of your power. You just stop thinking just for a moment. What's there? Even if you just stop thinking for a moment, a second, split second, hundredth of a second, open intelligence is there, bright, alert, powerful. And we can just take short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. 
in the short moments become continuous. So when we experience a data stream that we don't like, we can take a short moment of open intelligence. We let the data stream be as it is whilst we recognize open intelligence. And we see that actually the data stream, it just resolves by itself. Like a line drawn in water. It doesn't leave a trace, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it, it's quite funny actually because I know I've spent most of my life trying to resolve the data streams, trying so hard to make them go away, all of the negative data streams that I experienced. And then coming here, taking a short moment and seeing that all of that effort was completely unnecessary. Anyway, they all resolve. Anyway, I don't need to do anything about them, so why not just relax and enjoy the show? Enjoy the display of negative data, enjoy the display of positive data and recognize the complete inseparability of them. Inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. All data streams completely inseparable. So there is not two. There, it's not a data stream and open intelligence. And that's what can happen like a lot of the times when you start to get introduced to this and you're like, okay, I'm experiencing some hatred, so I'm going to allow, I, Romy, I'm going to allow the hatred to be as it is. Like I'm watching my hatred come up, resolve. It's completely inseparable. Me, open intelligence, the data stream, all just a spontaneous display. And we have the support, this incredible lifestyle the balanced view invites you to enter, that enables this complete empowerment of who you are, enables you to recognize your power in every moment, recognize your strengths, your gifts, your talents, your unique strengths, gifts and talents. It would be so boring if we were all the same. Massive Vibe is just a Massive Vibe Live. It's uh, Candace has written some lyrics to, uh, she writes, lots and lots of texts. We have so many books that you can purchase that evoke this recognition. This is one of the mainstays, the training media, texts and trainings. And now we have music as well introduced into that mainstay. Music, songs, because not everybody wants to come and sit here and to open meetings. Some people want to come and listen to music. That's how they're going to be introduced to open intelligence. So it's incredible, like Balanced View is completely expanding so that it can reach the most amount of people. Because it is so sad to think about people who are not introduced to reality, spending their whole entire lives reifying data, spending their whole lives trying to be somebody else, trying to be somebody other than what they are. You know I, know, I know people 70, 80 years old who are still trying to get rid of their negative data streams. It's never going to work. <laughs> we just can't do it. So to become completely comfortable with everything as it is, this is what provides us with a totally empowered lifestyle. So we have the four mainstays, we have the training media, we have the short moments of open intelligence, we have the community, everybody here, just everybody who is just com completely committed to living as reality. And it just, uh, it is so amazing, I'm, I'm in an intimate relationship and to have a partner, I have, get to have like really community with me all the time. And um, I used to have the opposite data stream, like I am so much more committed. <laughs> I'm so much more committed, he's not committed enough. <laughs> I'm relying on open intelligence so much more than him. 
But this is the same thing. You see, it's not better or worse to be, I'm so much more committed or I'm not committed enough. Both of them, equal data streams appearing, inseparable from open intelligence. We are both equally provided with the same opportunity to empower that data stream and recognise open intelligence. That data stream means nothing. It means nothing. It does not mean you're not committed. It does not mean he's more committed. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that here is an opportunity to empower open intelligence. And then we get to have the most incredible relationships with everybody. Complete intimacy with all. Total intimacy. I feel so intimately connected to everybody in this community. I have friends that I meet, um, that, that, that I join clarity calls with online that I've never physically met and I feel like they are like my best friends. Clarity calls are amazing ways, also included in the Four Mainstays support system where you can just join up and meet a trainer. A trainer is the fourth mainstay. A trainer, somebody who will always remind you that you are not your data. Somebody who is there for you all of the time, no matter <laughs> what. Completely available for you, responds to every single email that you write to them, empowering you to recognise your unique power. And this is the lifestyle that we live in. Like amazing relationships. In totally empowered relationships where we are not relying on the other person to provide us with positive data streams. And we're not blaming them when we feel negative data streams. This is just, this just does not work. This just provides completely disempowered relationships that, uh, that usually end in suffering and usually endure suffering as well. So now I feel so grateful that I'm in a relationship where each one of us, in my intimate relationship and my relationship with everybody, we are always just empowering each other to be exactly as we are, not trying to change each other anymore. This is the relationship that I wish for everybody. No more problems, no more arguing, no more fighting, no more struggle, just pure joy.